Hello and welcome back to our 12 days of beef. I hope that you've been enjoying all the videos that we've shown so far. We've had a lot of great recipes and tips from bloggers and chefs. And today we are now doing a appetizer recipe. This is a really simple recipe, only four ingredients. So gotta love that. These are flaky beef stuffed pinwheels. And we take a shortcut here by actually using some uh, pre-packaged beef pot roast, which I've already cooked a package of in the microwave. You can also do it on the stovetop. But this is just pot roast in an au jus uh, gravy, au jus sauce. And like I said, I put it in the microwave, let it cook for about five minutes, and then went ahead and shred it into pieces and now that we've done this we are going to add in half a cup of Asiago cheese it's already shredded and we're just going to mix that into our pot roast while it's still warm and let that cheese melt a little bit so this is just a really simple appetizer that you can serve the family for the holidays. The other two ingredients that we're using are frozen uh, puff pastry shells, or pastry sheets, excuse me. And we want to make sure that we go ahead and thaw those. So I have two sheets here. They've been sitting out for about 40 minutes. And what we do next is kind of unfold them and then on a floured work surface we're just going to set these down and I will move my camera down so you're able to see what I'm doing here there we go so we're going to cut this pastry sheet into two pieces and we want them to be about four and three quarters inches here on this side and it's about 10 inches on the long side. And so once you've cut your pastry sheet, we will add the beef and cheese mixture. And I'm gonna make sure that I leave about a half inch on the side closest to me, just leave that empty. That'll help when we go to roll up this pinwheel here. And so I'm just gonna divvy up my pot roast into about a quart, four uh, parts. That way I have enough for all of my pastry sheets. So I'm using about a quarter of my pot roast that I have. That looks pretty good. And then we have some green onions, which I cut in half lengthwise and then cut into really thin strips. And the reason we do that is so that we can lay them nicely across here. And that way when we roll up our pinwheels, there will be a little bit of green onion in every bite once we slice them. All right, now we're ready to roll this one up. And I do suggest that you do one of these at a time. So now that this one has all the ingredients, okay, let's spread this out to the edge here. There, that looks good. Okay. Now we're going to roll. Roll it closest to you. And so we're leaving this empty border here to help kind of seal it off. So you fold it over. That gives a nice area for it to seal. And we'll use a little bit of water along the seam to actually just seal that off.
and I've already preheated my oven to 400 degrees and I have two large baking sheets that I've coated with some cooking spray. And that seems it's good and sealed. So you could go ahead and cut these if you wanted to, but we're gonna hold off. I'm just gonna kinda move this one off to the side here and get to this other one. Again, same thing. We're just adding in about a fourth of our pot roast mixture with that Asiago cheese. Of course, that's gonna melt even more once we bake these in the oven. And then we add in our thinly sliced green onions. You might have to break a few of them, get them to cooperate. There we go, and same with the green onions. So I'm just making sure I use a fourth of what I have cut over here on my cutting board. Okay and then taking the side that's furthest from you and bringing it towards you or just rolling. And then we seal it off. A little bit of water on the seams. You can kind of pinch it there at the edge a little bit if needed. Now this is an appetizer option, but it would also be a good option just for a meal if you serve this alongside maybe some roasted veggies or a side salad to help kind of balance that out. Perfect. Two down and two more to go. Okay, so we have sliced all of our pinwheels and put them onto our baking sheet that's been sprayed with uh, cooking spray. I've left about an inch in between all of my pinwheels and these are going to bake in the oven for 15 to 17 minutes or until they're golden brown. Um, and we'll also rotate our pans halfway through baking. So ready to put them in the oven. All right, so our beef pinwheels are out of the oven. They baked for about 15 to 17 minutes till they got golden brown. And then I just let them cool slightly on the baking sheet. We do want to serve these warm, so don't let them cool too long. You can see I've added them to my serving platter here and garnished with a little bit of green onion. Just adds a nice pop of color. And I really think that these would be great. Also served with some pepper jelly. Maybe if you had pepper jelly, thin it with a little bit of water. You could drizzle that over or just serve your pepper jelly on the side. That sweet, salty, buttery, flaky combination is really delicious. If you already had one and they are great. They taste um, really flavorful just from that pot roast that we used, the store-bought pot roast, and then the simple addition of green onion 
it goes a long way. So I hope that you enjoy this recipe, serve it to family and friends this holiday, maybe a New Year's Eve gathering. But make sure to stay tuned for the rest of our 12 days of beef videos. We have a lot more coming up and make sure to enter the giveaway to win um, a roasting rack, a beef roast, and much more. So we'll see you next time.